Hello everyone, Pat F here from Smallwood Lot. My job is maintenance and custodial during my 40 hour week. I need to go ahead and show you something here. This is a prime example of why some people should never pick up a tool. I cannot believe this mess I pulled out of a light today. Hold on. This is an electronic ballast for a fluorescent lamp. I cut it out, wires and everything, and rewired it today. Let me show you what I ran into, because somebody, this is a replacement ballast for a lamp that I ended up having to replace the ballast again. I don't know how long this thing has not functioned. I didn't even bother trying to see if the ballast was any good or not. I just redid it all because of how jacked up it is. Okay, here is their wire. They had the black hot lead, spliced into a white then over here they spliced it into another wire which was black at least i had polarity somewhat right but they used the wrong color jumper wire which they didn't even need this white one in there anyway they did just the opposite here with the white splicing into the black and then splicing into the white for the power feed for the lamp okay now let me get to the feeds, okay? They took red wire, they spliced it into two yellows, which I chopped out. Well, the yellows are supposed to be one side of the, uh, the circuit for a lamp. As I'm saying, they got two yellow wires spliced into a white. One was spliced into a lamp, the other one was just left dangling. If I come over here to the other red, you got a red spliced into a red, spliced into two more reds, which were feeding two separate sockets. Now this is a four lamp setup here. They had a blue spliced into a red, spliced into a socket. They had a blue spliced into a yellow, spliced into a socket. They had a yellow, Spliced into two more yellows, spliced into socket. Then they had a yellow, spliced into the blue, spliced into two more blues going into a socket. Why? This hurts my head just thinking about it and looking at it. Where all they needed, okay, all they needed to do was this. Ladies and gentlemen, basically all they had to do was match wire for wire, color for color. Whether they spliced it, or they ran all the way out to the sockets, doesn't matter. If it's a good splice, there's no issue. But it still needed to be wire for wire, color for color. You can even mix up the blues and the reds, okay? And it'll still work. Not exactly right, but it will work. Now this ballast can also be wired as a three wire or three lamp ballast. All they request you to do is not use one of the blue wires and wire nut at all. That's okay. It even states it here on the ballast. Okay. But as long as you keep it quite simple, now, remember folks, simplicity is best. I don't know if this person was colorblind or just said, okay, let's do it and get it done and get out of there, not even care. I don't know. I don't care what he was doing. He's not doing work at the school again anymore anyway, whoever it was. But all he needed to do was this. All he needed to do was splice black to black white to white, that takes care of your power. Find your two yellows. One yellow picks up two lamps at one end of a shunt. The other yellow picks up the other two lamps at the end. However, keep in mind, if this is a three wire setup, you still use both yellows. 
It's just one will pick up one lamp and the other one will pick up two. All right. On the other end, you have four wires. You have four lamps. So this will pick up one socket. This will pick up the next socket. Blue will pick up the next socket and the other blue will pick up the last socket. Now, if this is being wired three wire, the one blue would be cut back, wire nutted off, leaving ample room that if it ever is needed, it can be used, okay? But neatly, not trying to cram eight feet of wire in a four foot fixture that does not need to be there. Not putting two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Oh, God knows how many wire nuts they had in there, but I know it was a lot more than what I've got here. Okay, this is all you need for wire nuts if you're splicing it. Four, six, eight. And they had almost twice that, maybe three times that number in the fixture. Okay, now also when I say one wire to a socket. You gotta remember, this, this wire is feeding both sides of one socket, okay? So if it's a shunted socket, it's just one wire going in there and it's feeding both sides. If it's a non-shunted socket, this will be into one side of the socket, and then there'll be a smaller jumper coming out to the other side of the same socket, okay? To pick up the other side. Basically what you're doing is you're picking up the positive end on both terminals of one end of the lamp and the return line or the neutral for the opposite end of the lamp. So you're passing the current all the way through the lamp. And this would also be going into a shunted socket. Okay? So please, if you know about your electrical, and you know how to replace a ballast, by all means, it is a simple test that can be done, okay? Take the time to do it right. Do not follow the footsteps of whoever the was that preceded me in this ballast, okay? I'll even show you something else here. It even states here on the ballast, all right? You can't get more straightforward than this. Okay, you have two blue wires, and they bring them down here to the two bottom lamps. One for each side, and they're showing that it is a shunted socket or a jumped socket. Okay, then they come up here to the next two wires, which is a yellow and a yellow. You notice the yellows come out come across, they jump over the two reds, which means they don't connect into them. They jump over them, they bypass them. They come all the way down past them. And now you see, they got jumpered into two sockets, jumpered into two sockets, okay? And those are both shunted sockets, shunted sockets. So they're picking up all four terminals of the ballast on the back end of the lamp. Now this is a four pin, four foot lamp, okay? I know they have another term, now, term for it, but I call it a four pin, all right? So I got it into shunted sockets here, shunted sockets here, or jumped out sockets. Then you have your two red coming out and over into these first two lamps. Plain and simple. They got it color coded, they got it labeled. Then come down here, they say for three lamp, Cap one blue lead. Ballast case must be grounded and installed in according with National Electrical Code. And when you bolt this into place, you have it screwed in with your machine screw, it is automatically considered bonded. Okay, you don't need to ground wire actually on this piece because it is mechanically fastened to the housing. 
okay? Of course, they say properly ground ballast and fixture. They say turn off power before servicing. They have all the mumbo jumbo over here of the uh, line current in amps. Okay. Voltage, open circuit, voltage, vir volts, RMS, and everything else. Power frequency factors and everything. Sound rating, class A. Minimum starting temperature. Okay. All the compliance information right here. For use in metallic fixtures only. Okay. Remember that. But. Here's the other piece of information that's very important. There it is. Input. 120 to 277 volts at 50 to 60 hertz. 50 to 60 hertz, that's their frequency. Okay? That's pretty much standard. Okay? 120 is generally residential. Okay? This ballast can handle 120 volts. It can handle 240. It can handle industrial voltage 277. Okay? Commercial industrial voltage. All right? So know what it is that you're working with. Know how to work with it. And if you don't know what you're doing, please, for your safety, and for the safety of the people around you. If you don't know what you're doing, do not pick up the tools. Do not attempt to do the work yourself, okay? Get somebody in who knows what they're doing, somebody in who knows what they're working on. I don't wanna hear anybody getting hurt, all right? But hey, simple as one, two, three, match your colors wire for wire, you can't make a mistake installing a ballast. Just making sure that you have the right ballast for the right fixture. And here's the other thing. Fluorescent lights are on their way out, folks. We're replacing what we got. We're updating, getting away from the fluorescent lamps, and we're going into a non-ballast, LED lamp system where we're just wiring up the sockets 120 volts we plug in a new lamp and it lights up we're getting rid of these thank you have a good day one day I'll have a, a video up of wiring up these um, ballast delete LED lamps hopefully I'll have a fixture to do it for you have a good day everyone enjoy